Keyboards are a necessary part of a PC rig, and they're pretty useful for most tasks regarding smartphones and tablets. If you've grown tired of your old, worn-down keyboard and are looking for an upgrade, you might want to check out our selection of the top 5 wireless keyboards that Market has to offer in 2020. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Our first pick for the review of the top 5 wireless keyboards in 2020 is Omaton's Bluetooth keyboard. Basically, this is a budget keyboard that comes supplied with a set of very simplistic features that are much akin to those equipped on regular wired keyboards in the same price range. The first and most notable benefit you should hope of reaping by using Omaton's Bluetooth keyboard is precisely that, familiarity. Most of the keys are located in the exact same spot as they would be if it was a regular average budget keyboard. In that regard, you won't need to spend time figuring out what end goes where and which features operate in what way. Obviously, you'll benefit from wireless connectivity, and what's special about this model is that it offers hands-free convenience up to 10 meters. Apart from being great for computers and laptops, this keyboard also boasts exceptional compatibility with most modern smart tools and gadgets, including iPhones, tablets, and such. In terms of notable keys, the function buttons F1 to F12 feature brightness adjustment settings, scan, print, media player controls, play, pause, and fast forward, as well as mute and basic volume settings. All other keys have a simplistic layout, with the exception of the numeric keypad which is left out of the design. The only thing we thought could be improved here is the lack of navigational keys such as home end, insert, print screen, scroll lock, and such. Namely, enter and shift are both right above the arrows, which is where the right hand side of the keyboard ends. In essence, this is a smallish, basic wireless keyboard that most people will easily get familiar with. It offers simplicity and convenience above everything else, but it's also pretty versatile for a budget model. Speaking of which, it's dirt cheap, so it could always serve as a replacement until you manage to save up enough money for an actual upgrade. Given the fact that we are currently living in modern times where the vast majority of the population practically lives in front of a PC or laptop, it would be wise to do yourself a favor and take care of the hands that are typing millions of words a day. The best way to preserve your fingers, palms, and wrists is to get an ergonomic keyboard, and we have a particular model in mind, Logitech's Ergo K860. Logitech is a huge brand, and everyone who's at least heard about them knows that they're pioneers of many innovative technologies. Their ergonomic keyboard is a huge game changer for programmers, designers, students, gamers, and basically everyone who uses a keyboard to make a living. The first and main reason why Logitech's Ergo K860 is better than most ergonomic keyboards is that it actually helps improve your typing posture. Basically, this keyboard's design is split and curved, allowing you to use it in an angle where you can freely rest your hands on your chair's armrest supports. This type of design alleviates the pent-up stress from wrists, palms, and your forearms, which in turn helps you gain improved focus and a more natural posture. However, people who have never used a keyboard like this will likely need some time to get accustomed to the layout of the keys and functions. Speaking of which, Logitech's Ergo K860 comes supplied with a split spacebar, two control and alt buttons, two shifts, caps lock, tab, function, and double function keys, F1 to F12. Additionally, this keyboard also sports a numeric keypad and six navigational keys right above the arrow keys. It's drastically more versatile than our previous pick, but it's also just a bit more difficult to use for beginners. One of the best things about Logitech's Ergo K860 is that its keys are scooped. This means that they feel more comfortable as well as more intuitive to the fingertips. The highlight feature of Logitech's Ergo K860 is the fully adjustable and customizable palm lift. Basically, this is an extra feature that brings extra comfort, stability, and pressure stress relief to your palms. It's a completely optional feature, so you can use it whenever you deem fit, but ideally you should start developing a habit of using it at all times. Overall, Logitech's Ergo K860 is easily one of the most valuable keyboards that is currently available on the market, even without the additional utility features. Next up is Apple's Magic Keyboard. This is our top pick for the best Apple wireless keyboard, and it's easily one of the best options in this entire review. At first glance, it looks pretty simple and straightforward. It's basically a great looking wireless keyboard with a standard key layout, but there's much more to it than just that. Its main feature is the ultra-thin, sleek design. 
Basically, it's lighter and thinner than most standard wireless keyboards, which also affects the typing mechanism and feel. Its dimensions measure 0.43 inches in height, 10.98 inches in width, and 4.52 inches in depth. It weighs barely half a pound, and because of it, it's exceptionally compact and transportable. As we have mentioned, the keyboard layout of the Magic Keyboard is standardized. It sports 12 function keys that govern brightness settings, menu, and multimedia controls. It also sports the tab key, cap locks, two shifts, a fully customizable function key, two control keys, two option keys, and two command keys. What's really interesting about this keyboard is the design of the arrow keys, most notably up and down. Namely, these two are only half the size of the left and right keys, which basically means that there are only three arrows on board. While this particular choice of key layout does save a bit of space, it also makes it slightly harder to use. Luckily, Apple's Magic Keyboard is exceptionally easy to operate. Compatibility-wise, it works with pretty much all Apple products, including iPhones from 5 to 11 Pro, all iPads from iPad Mini 4 to iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and all Mac models from Mac Mini to MacBook Air. The Magic Keyboard features two modes of connection, Bluetooth and USB. Namely, you might find yourself in such a spot where you won't have access to internet. In case this keyboard only worked on Bluetooth or eventually Wi-Fi, you would be left with a useless keyboard. This way, you'll be able to choose between connecting it to any Apple device via Bluetooth or USB. As a matter of fact, you'll also get a gratis charger, completely free of charge. The main downfall of Apple's Magic Keyboard is that it costs quite a bit, but the same can be said about most Apple products. Enthusiasts and fans are already well aware of the fact that Apple gadgets aren't exactly cheap, but they also know that they're always worth every single cent, and the Magic Keyboard is not an exception. Regardless of which field of entertainment you are finding your own, Corsair's K83 keyboard has you covered. This keyboard is by far one of the most versatile pieces of equipment you can find on the market, be it gaming, binge watching movies, streaming, or any other field. First and foremost, it sports 12 standard function keys scattered into three groups of four, although the functions are programmable and customizable. Their initial presets are slightly different than average, for instance, F5 governs Wi-Fi, F6 and F7 govern Bluetooth, while brightness and contrast adjustment settings are completely left out. The usual control, shift, and alt keys are all in the same place, and the arrow keys are basically designed in the same way as the ones applied to the Magic Keyboard, three keys instead of four. If we were to observe only these features, we could say that K83 is a gamer's keyboard simply because it has W, A, S, and D keys in a slightly different color. However, this beautiful piece of technology also comes supplied with a big, easy-to-use joystick that essentially doubles for a gamepad. You can easily stimulate laptop onboard controls with it, or you can do co-op tasks or play co-op games with it. At the end of the day, the Corsair K83 is perfect for any kind of entertainment, but it's also a great choice for programmers and studio engineers. In fact, it's great for everyone who can afford it, given the fact that it does cost a few dollars more than average. Our final pick is Logitech's K780, the best keyboard overall. It rocks a uniquely designed set of round keys that feel completely different and obviously much more intuitive and comfortable to use than standard ones. This keyboard sports standard function keys, dual control keys, dual alt keys, and dual shift keys, caps lock, and a numeric keypad. Basically, it's not much different from a standard keyboard in terms of sheer features alone, but its design is the reason why we've labeled it as one of the best wireless keyboards in 2020. The function keys are fully programmable. The initial settings include home, button, options, back, multimedia keys, search, and a secondary delete key. Even if you didn't want to bother reading the FAQ and instructions manual, you could still easily deduce that this keyboard is compatible with most smartphones and smart gadgets. Apart from Bluetooth, it also utilizes USB connectivity. One of the best features of this keyboard is the integrated stand that you can use to keep your tablet or phone in place. You'll be able to adjust the angle of the stand so that you can see the display and read letters more easily. Compatibility-wise, this keyboard works well with Mac, Chrome, Android, Windows, and iOS devices. All things considered, Logitech's K780 wireless keyboard is absolutely unique, exquisite, and worth every penny, so whoever is looking for a quality keyboard should at least take it into consideration. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.